let's talk about Sheeta just very quickly. How you can improve your quality uh, of the stream of any kind of... Uh, not only you can um, fill the holes, but you can create tendrils and in general sense you can help sculpt. Uh, so right now we have this very low uh, resolution stream going on and this is example of what we used in the final result. Uh, just uh, I just wanted to show you much clearer version of it and um, yeah so we have self extension uh, we can make it uh, lower or bigger and it it will help us uh, to gain more rounded results eventually especially when we bump it up uh, resolution uh, but let me show you that even with low with lower resolution you can get some results and some nice detail uh, adding up Sheeta. So let's add up Sheeta from frame of 200. Let's see what Sheeta will do. We have min cavity size of 1, so it should skip some parts. As you can see, it fills the holes already, just smoothly. And you still have these bubbles going on over here. What if we would we can animate min cavity size? So usually Cheetah works from the very beginning of the time frame, so we can make it at zero and uh, there are a few ways to do it. The very <laughs> straightforward way is this. However, we could um, just remove curve and we could do that. Min cavity size of one and uh, at zero. Let's make it zero. Edit curve. Select the curve. And there we go. This is all we need. So now you will see when Sheeta will start acting. And we can actually animate so it would be more smooth transition. As you can see, it starts acting. So again, in real flow, everything is very fast and um, you can you have control over most of the nodes so you can go insane with your creativity and animate things as you go and you can with more detail you can have this interesting splash going on let's try something else um let's Let's animate just a little bit, little bit more min cavity size. Um, let's make it up to 1.5. As you can see, now we have transition, smooth-ish transition uh, going up to the value we want. There we go. Other than that, it's just playing around with uh, noise field and other values. 
So you can see that the behavior changes quite a lot. It's way different now. Kind of liked it when it was different. So let's just delete this key. And we have only this. Uh, and we can create tendrils as well. Let's create them. So the best uh, way to realize uh, when it actually is affecting and it's creating is to bring the strength quite up. Um, you can go down eventually with that and you have creation time. It is in seconds. So we shall see what we'll have and uh, count. Let's just make it to 50. We can bring it down eventually. This is very good um, tip actually to find out whether it's working or not and when it's working. So we shall create tendrils sometimes, uh, which is really handy, especially if we have more quality already you bumped it up uh, bump it up uh, resolution and all of that uh, but let me show you how you can be sure when those uh, part particles additional particles of the tendrils uh, are created and uh, for that I highly recommend you to bump it up uh, quite high all the values you have more count of of those tendrils you have bigger strength and uh, this way um, you will be visually <laughs> in informed uh, how and when it is created and then you can go down with strength and just fine-tune all the de all the details with a higher quality uh, so let's just simulate and I will show you an example As you can see, first round is over here. Second round is over here. So we have potential tendrils when once um, we have more quality. So this is the, the best way to find out when when those are working. Of course, you don't need to have huge strength for the final result because uh, it won't be um, as beautiful. Uh, so all you need to do is just to fine tune the strength so it will have additional boost of some, some kind. Uh, so those tendrils eventually will be shown up uh, in the final result. Uh, other than that, uh, the last tip uh, for the splashes uh, is to use additional geometry because when it collides with geometry those tendrils uh, you can do those tendrils as well with um, crown demon uh, you can sculpt it anywhere and uh, then add up additional um, geometry which has more sticky on it and uh, just play around a little bit with those values and uh, add up sheeta and this way you will have those tendril Ish looks uh, in the end um, more smooth and more uh, realistic. So that's pretty much it. So to sum up, Diverso Elastics plays a huge role in creative process. You can create anything you want now, uh, both uh, simulation in fluids and any kind of material, rigid bodies, elastics, and within elastics you can go uh, to extremes such as more of a rigid body and a cloth or anything like that you can mix those up together and remember a subsets plays a big role in there uh, do not overuse a high particle count or extremely uh, tough um, whole high poly count uh, objects so 
keep the golden middle and enjoy all of the workflow. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's it. Enjoy it and enjoy real flow.